Guys, eBay sales for me over the last 30 days have been absolutely insane, especially over the last two weeks and even more so just yesterday when I hit over $2,000 in sales in just one day. Now obviously I can't share with you guys every single thing I've sold since my last What Sold video because that would be an extremely long video, but today I will share with you 15 of my top sales over the last few weeks. What's going on you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado. I'm a full-time reseller and loving every minute of it. A lot of the things I've been selling over the last two weeks or so have been from that $1,000 video game buyout that I did in my last video. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll link it up here in the cards. It was a great buy. I've already made my money back, already profited some. Things have been selling extremely well out of that lot. However, I didn't want this 15 item video to be all video game stuff, so I tried to do a healthy mix of really good sales from that video game lot as well as good sales from my regular inventory. First item up is this pair of Nike tennis shoes. I found these at my local Salvation Army in the glass case up front. I did pay up for these. I think these were $9.99, but I knew they were in excellent condition, a good size, and a pretty rare model, I believe. So I listed them for $65 plus shipping, and they were only listed for about a week before they sold for full asking price. Next up is a set of Bosch halogen lights. These were new in box, dead stock. I found these at the same Salvation Army as those Nike tennis shoes. I paid $14.99 for these, and these sold for $120 free shipping, and they only cost about $12 to ship out. Next up is another find from that same Salvation Army. I didn't find all three of those items the same day, but I did find them at the same store. I've had pretty good luck there occasionally. I paid $12.99 for this motorcycle helmet probably four months ago. It's been listed for a while, but I finally accepted a best offer of $85 plus shipping. Any reseller knows that dumbbells and home workout equipment have been a hot item for the last few months. So when I walked into a Walmart recently and I found six 20 pound dumbbells sitting on the shelf for $18.92 each, I bought all six of them. I did keep one set for myself and my wife to use to so we'll work out in the garage and the other two sets I listed on eBay. It took about Two or three days, they didn't sell as immediately as I thought, but they both did sell for $90 free shipping. They cost about $20 to ship each set because I used a large flat rate box. So I profited about $30 or so on each set. So a nice, easy $60 doing some retail arbitrage from Walmart. I found this Magnavox DVD recorder VHS combo unit at Salvation Army probably five or six months ago. I initially sent it to Amazon FBA and it sold there for like 220 bucks or something. But probably like a week later, I got the notification that the buyer on Amazon wanted to return it. And then like a month later, Amazon sent it back to my house. I double checked it. Nothing was broken, nothing was missing. I guess they just used it to maybe transfer over some, some, some old tapes to DVDs and then returned it, which is kind of frustrating, but it happens. Once I got it back from Amazon, I put it back in my death pile. I don't know why, I should have relisted it immediately, but once I saw it and realized that it wasn't listed, I listed it for $195 plus shipping and it sold the same day within about three hours of listing it. The buyer was all in like, $240 or something. These things, I love finding them. I absolutely love finding them. They're not super common anymore, especially the ones with the DVD recorder. The ones that don't record are probably worth like 50 bucks or so, but if you find these with the DVD recorder, they are gold. And now we're getting into some stuff from my video game lot. I found this copy of Animal Crossing for a Nintendo GameCube tucked away in one of my boxes. I looked up sold comps and was surprised to see that it was selling for about 70 to $75 free shipping, which is so surprising because even the new copy of Animal Crossing for Nintendo Switch is only like 50 to $55 brand new. So this game is a rare title that's actually increased in value since it came out in 2002. So I was very happy to find it, list it, and then extremely happy when it sold for $74 free shipping. In my last video, before I got to the guy's house to buy all the video games, I had stopped at a few Goodwills along the way, and one of them had this item in the glass case. It's a Philips Norelco shaver. I paid $54.92 for this, and this sold for $134.99 plus shipping. And it only took about four or five days to sell, less than a week. So don't be afraid to pay up for stuff at Goodwill if you know you can make a profit. I picked up these Nike Charles Barkley shoes in a video four or five months ago. You guys probably remember those. I paid $6 and 50 cents for these and I accepted a best offer of $50 plus shipping. A couple months ago, I posted a video where I did a private pick in this guy's garage. I paid him 150 bucks for just a ton of stuff, like a mountain bike that sold for 300. I've already made a ton of profit on this deal and this torque wrench was part of that deal. So I probably have 
maybe 20 to $30 in this torque wrench, and it did take a while to sell. It's been listed since that video, so probably three months or so, but it did eventually sell for $125 plus shipping. This is another find from my video game buyout. This was a copy of Double Dragon for the Sega Genesis. It was in excellent condition, still had the box, still had the manual. I just love finding old video games that the previous owners had taken such good care of them. So I listed this for $49 free shipping, and I accepted a best offer of $45 free shipping. This Game Boy Advance SP was part of my video game buyout as well. I listed it in sold for $80 free shipping. This next sale was very interesting. If you guys remember a couple months ago, I did a video where I went sourcing at an antique mall. And if you've never tried to flip items from an antique mall onto eBay, it's extremely difficult to find profitable items because generally antique malls mark up items to basically what they're worth on eBay. However, I did find this airplane propeller. I think it was originally priced at $120 and they knocked it down to $80 after I called the booth owner and you know, asked him if he was really wanting to move some stuff out of his booth, especially an item that was taking up so much real estate. If you got an antique mall with really tight booths and there are big items in those booths, I bet you the owners of those booths will be willing to work with you on price for some of those larger items. So I paid $80 for the propeller and I originally listed it pretty high, like $279 plus shipping, just because I didn't really know what it was worth and I thought, you know, what's the worst that could happen? And nobody bought it. That was the worst that could happen. So I canceled and relisted it for $150 plus shipping and just let it sit. And it sat at that price point for probably like a month and a half or so. And then one day out of the blue, somebody came and bought it. 150 bucks plus shipping. I think it was all in like 190 or so. Uh, it lives in Florida, so it probably cost me about 30 to $40 to ship it out. It's pretty big. Uh, but I thought that was pretty good. I made like a $50 profit on an item from an antique store. And that is super difficult to do. Another item from my video game bundle. This is a Nintendo Wii U. I was really interested to just play around with this a little bit. I had never had seen one in real life before, so we hooked it up, played a few games on it. It was fun, but then I decided to sell it when I looked up comps and saw that it was selling for anywhere from $180 to $230, depending on how many games and controllers and stuff it had. This particular unit didn't have anything fancy with it. It was just the system. I think I had five or six games that were worth, you know, five to $10 each. So threw the games in with the lot, elicited it for $199 plus shipping, and it sold within about four hours or so. Pretty fast sale there, nice little profit. This next item is the perfect example on how it's okay to take a high dollar risk with an item that you know will sell very quickly. The other night I was on Facebook Marketplace and I happened to find this listing for this Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch console for $450. He actually had a couple other Nintendo Switch games with it that I bundled together. So I paid $550 for the whole bundle, but I ended up selling four of the games for about $120 total. So I only had about $440 or so into the actual console and I listed that for $699 free shipping. I didn't know how long it was going to take to sell. There were a few others that were brand new that were listed. This was gently used but it actually sold the same day about four or five hours after I listed it full asking price. I did get two lowball offers like right after I listed it. Somebody offered me like 500, somebody offered me 450, which I just declined those because I knew it would sell eventually, but sold super fast. And I think I made a profit of like 150, $200, somewhere around there. Uh, and not counting those games that came with it. So don't be afraid to spend up if you've got the capital for things that are gonna be a very fast turnaround for you. Then the last item is this Nintendo 3DS XL. This was a very nice find in my video game buyout. Had the original box, all the paperwork. It was in great condition. I didn't put any games with this. I do have other games and I thought about bundling it, but I thought this would sell without games just as well. And it did. I listed it $170 free shipping and it sold within about six hours full asking price. I'm so surprised that this, that this older Nintendo stuff holds its value so well. Like, I mean, this system, I don't know how old it is, but it's older than the Nintendo Switch, and you can get a brand new Nintendo Switch Lite for 200 bucks. So somebody was willing to pay almost the same price as a brand new Switch for this much older system, which is fine by me. I love it. I love selling stuff like this. This video game buyout was just so great. I've had so many great sales. Just It's just been a great eBay month for me. I'm so excited. Woo! So there you have it guys. That is 15 of my top sales over the last two weeks or so. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to my channel for more content just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best and I'll catch you on the next one.